All right, let's switch off, man. So fuck Pokemon. Let's talk about this because uh, <laughs> apparently Leon has not seen this video. We're gonna I'm talk not, about I'm oh that. Is... <laughs> We're gonna talk about you have my full attention. Literally yeah, everything me... except a few seconds in this video was was actually fun to watch. But then that came up, and I was like, really? Yeah. And again, it's it's always the same kind of people. They they. It's like the conversation we had about um, uh, Indiana Jones, right? Where you have specific people in a trailer that are meant to talk about specific topics purposefully, right? And it's no shocker that this woman with pink hair that's tossed to the side, semi-shaved or whatever, is talking about being in tune with your feelings and modernizing Joker and all this other stuff. And anyway, I'm going to play this video. It's two minutes long. Let's not, let's not interrupt. And... I say it starts off good. I was into it at the beginning, and then, uh, yeah, let's play. The Joker. At least buy me dinner first. <laughs> the original oh. Arkhamverse Joker has been dead for five years, but this is a new Elseworlds twist on the villain. He was part of the Suicide Squad in the Elseworld that he's from, which already shows that he's slightly more cooperative than the previous Joker we've had. But as you get used to him and actually play to him, you realize he's unhinged in a different way. <laughs> Not only has he got to figure himself out, but he's figuring out his place in this uh, new world and this new squad. He hadn't reached supervillain status before Brainiac invaded, so, you know, he's still a bit less experienced. I think we've taken him back to the kind of more vaudeville roots of Joker. He's masking insecurities with traditional Joker behavior, but deep down, he's not sure who he is yet. Lock him up. Oh. So uh, that's the part that a lot of people are having problems with. So, so a Joker, fucking identity. A Joker who's insecure, who's masking his feelings. It's just oh, there it is. I, 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 there it is. Where's they have no Gen idea Z how to run the Joker. Shit. Like they have no. The Joker idea is a hundred percent assured of who he is. He's the only one who is. No, he doesn't know who he is. That's the brilliant thing about the Joker. He is chaos, he's, literally. He's, he's yeah, but okay, unpredictable. Maybe he, he, who he is. is but... Yeah, he will do he anything. Also seemed, like yeah, he, you, you, you all, you all, all, all missed the big me. picture, and so I'm, I'm, I want to take this moment because, because Jared Leto, I know you're watching, and I owe you <laughs> an apology. I'm yeah. so sorry for everything I said about your Joker well, after seeing yeah. this. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, I haven't said anything, uh, words, but I will say I can't wait for Superman to fucking kill this Joker as well. Yeah, punch straight through that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but uh, yeah, fingers. Yeah, but the the original Joker is dead in this in this game timeline, right? Oh. So now they have this okay. new Joker, and. Um, mm -hmm. He well, is the ultra like the same journey that Christ. Thor went on for the last four movies, apparently. So, you know what the problem is? Is that they, every villain that they create, you they want you to be sympathetic in some way to the villain. And yes, the Joker, that's the problem these the, days. Exactly, the Joker. You, there's no sympathy or empathy for that character. He's just pure, crazy, unpredictable. He's like the ultimate villain. That's why people love him. And yeah, so, like, taking this and life. making this modern Joker just ruins it it just it, they're destroying the ip again they it's also not didn't even walter white there. uh they didn't, uh, they didn't put a title there but she is the one of the main writers just so everybody has that understanding oh okay <laughs> well look will i don't even think they're trying to do the walter white thing i think they're going like a little bit further in they want to do like the whole fucking yeah just uh, I mean, sauron complex there was a thing. which is like you know like oh yeah. we know the long that he long ago he used to be good and we need to feel bad for how he turned out but but you know yeah. like if you go back, i mean i guess you can't exactly blame it all on breaking bad but there were yeah. a lot of shows in that era where where yeah. villains were kind of shown in their formative years where it, it was easy to sympathize with someone who starts mm -hmm. good and goes bad and that was done yeah quite a lot and, and in many yeah. interesting ways but it, it doesn't have to be that every single fucking villain yeah, is a good guy at heart. Deep down, they just need someone to understand them. No, some people are just fucking psychopaths, yeah, and they, they just they don't care. If they ever try to humanize you know? Frieza and Dragon Ball Z, that'll be the thing. I'm like, fuck it, I'm out. Like, <laughs> well, I mean, they. I mean, you could argue that they kind of have explored Frieza way too much. A little in bit, Super. yeah. Yes. Oh no, I, I'm just saying if they use this particular trope, I'd be like, that's it, I'm done. And I'm like, the oh god, yeah. I mean, a, a Frieza well, spin-off of really quick. I, I have a little bit, a little bit of a disagreement with the Breaking Bad thing. So the, the, I don't, I don't consider Walter White to be a super that a super. Ah, god, what am I trying to say? Like, you, I don't empathize with him, right? So the reason yeah. why by uh, the end you you can't, you can't, right? Like I feel like in the beginning. 
you have obviously Walter White, teacher. Yeah. You feel bad for him. His life's terrible. He's got cancer. Whatever. Then he, uh, he ends up joining the the drug life, and you can be sympathetic with him in the beginning because he is uh, clearly out of his league in a sense, right? Absolutely. But, Everyone has a point where they stop liking Walter. Yeah, right, for, right. For and me, for me, me that's when he's a fucking child. Child. Yes, like, exactly. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody's stancering at the same time. Hey, I'd actually like you know what the problem with that? Is like they take, they've, they've taken that from the original um alan moore the killing joke that's the joker like he right. was so down in the dumps his wife's leaving him he was poor couldn't keep a job couldn't even be a comedian um and he was desperate to, to do anything to keep it together and that's how he became the joker in that story that's how right. he became psychotic right. that it's very similar to walter white where he was just he had nothing to lose he was dying he wanted to get money for his family so he did the, did the meth thing this joker they're trying to make him I don't even know what they're trying to do with this character. DC in general, what they're doing with the Joker is not anything close what the Joker is actually supposed to be. The Joker is very unpredictable. No one knows who the Joker, no one knows. Even Bruce Wayne, who is the most, like probably the smartest hero in all of like all comic heroes, um, doesn't even know what the Joker's doing. Doesn't even know what the Joker's going to do next. So like mm. th this take is just uh, so poorly done. Uh, they've been like the last five years, everything that they've done with these characters has been balls shit. Yeah. As far mm. as the Joker, not knowing who he is, uh, that's retarded because like you said, Gooch, he, he was a man from that story, from that story, but that's the backstory that we have where he's, you know, he's basically lost everything. And now he's just like, well, fuck it. Uh, um, I'm, you know, he's secure in knowing that, I'm not trying to be this human. I'm not trying to, uh, or in a way that we should or all civil. Um, I know that I'm, I'm chaos. I'm going to fuck some shit up. If this guy, if this newer, younger Joker or whatever does not, I'm, I'm talking about the equality. I need to see him take new Superman, gay Superman's boyfriend, uh, do shit like he did to, a, I'm not saying fucking tap sex with him or anything like he did oracle <laughs> but i'm saying take that dude wow i'm talking about aim the gun at his dick you know what i'm saying for the that joke instead of quickly. instead of shooting it make the little bang sign come out the gun like just have fun with it uh but yeah make him equality <laughs> for all i don't care if you're gay trans whatever i'm, I'm gonna fuck your life up <laughs> well, well the joker does look a bit homosexual he does look like he's a bit too thin which means he looks like he might have AIDS. So maybe that's no, why that's the, the, the body. Himself. The body is fine. It's just really like, Damn. like the, the thing with the Joker is like, he would never join a team. He's so mm. psychologically fractured. There's like, he's got multiple personalities that he, he somehow can control team. that mm. he can control somehow. But, but uh, he we've will seen play the Joker off. on teams before multiple times, though. To be fair, no, like, he tur like he turns on them all the time. He has he, he's yeah, like ten he's steps to every, team, everyone. Though, but yeah, yeah he's not a thing, but. But he's yeah. it for his own reasons. Exactly. He's like he's ten steps ahead of everyone. Like he's never considered like a, a brilliant villain. But in, but in reality, he's probably the smartest villain of all of them. He's just so crazy and, and like I said, unpredictable. He's just you can't rely on him. You can't. You can't. Like yeah. when teams when when like villains when the rogue gallery says like oh, the Joker, they're like no, like I you, he you can't have him <laughs> on here. Like he's just you, who knows what he's gonna do. So, like having him on the suicide suicide squad doesn't make sense. It really doesn't, because he would probably he would probably kill a guard and then turn around and kill Killer Shark at the same moment. And Just for To be fair, I, I do think it is worth out. mentioning yeah. that we are we're we're taking these idiot writers <laughs> at their word. And I always yeah, want to default back to Dungeons and Dragons. We heard the idiot writers for Dungeons and Dragons talk about how the movie is going to demasculate men and how funny yeah, and fresh did, yeah. that is. And lo and behold, that wasn't the movie. So, like, I, so far, if this is what happens, obviously everyone's in agreement. This is fucking retarded. But man, I, we also pay way too much attention to writers and 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 put more credit towards them than we probably actually should. Exactly. And That's her the, the one comment I she said there or he said there about the vaudeville stuff, they they have not read up on anything of the past Joker because the Joker has the face paint because he wears masks like his personality. That's why mm -hmm. he has the paint. Like he he's constantly changing all the time. Uh if you, like he even he even <laughs> cut off his face and, and the death of the of uh, of the family, uh, death yeah, death of the family. Like he cut off his own face and and literally said, "I cut off my face for you, B Batman, because I constantly want to change up my personality, my face." So like, mm -hmm. 
that that's the Joker that we know from like the canon. And so like everyone's trying to create this new, it's the same thing with Star Wars and every, all that. They're trying to like, constantly change things up and make it modern and just doesn't take. Dude, IGN, of all people, gave this game a bad review. If even the shills over at IGN are like, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's really not that good. All right, that's that That means one of two things. It's either truly that bad, even they couldn't shill for it, or maybe or it's, it's actually good. Like, <laughs> I mean, based, I don't yeah. trust IGN reviewers to properly play a game. A I'm just saying, you know, uh, like score, you got to look IGN's at their score. Like, like, uh, if they rate it bad, that means it's good. I'm confused. Like, you know, yeah. it's a bit of a Twilight Zone issue. Uh, it's but like, they do um, call the Joker the worst narrator for a reason. You know, he's the worst narrator because he's constantly lying, constantly making things up, constantly changing. And uh, to say that he's insecure or, or you know, yeah. um, not understanding his feelings or whatever. Like, it's very clear that this person has probably never read any single Joker no. book or anything yeah, in their life. That's so antithetical because, because I don't remember which writer it was, but one of the key writers behind, um, I, I think it was um, uh, the guy that did the Dark Knight Returns. Um, um, why am I blanking on his name? Uh, Chris Nolan? Uh, thank you. Yeah, Nolan, who said, I, I could be misattributing the quote, but I believe it was Nolan that said, one of the biggest misconceptions people have about the Joker is that he's insane when that's not true. He is hyper sane. He is so aware mm, yes. of reality that it makes him yeah. seem insane to people who, who are, yes. you know, just going not through aware. life as normal. So, like, yeah. Joker is, is incredibly, like, like Jay was saying, he's incredibly intelligent. The Joker's not crazy. That's, he is so sane, he appears crazy. And that I feel like is an important distinction. But if people don't know that, they're not going to write the Joker correctly. Hundred percent. So I it, agree with it, it all depends on. And again, it I I understand what you're saying, um, Leon, about you know that in Dungeons and Dragons you had someone you had a writer come out and say all these things, and it, yeah. it wasn't necessarily. We talk about this all the time. Do you already know what I'm right. saying? But basically, uh, the red flags are there for a reason. There's a reason why they're red flags, right? And and anytime oh, you yeah, see no, I, I, I agree. somebody like this talking, who is a head writer, mind you, talking about. Um, you know, Joker being in tune with their feelings and all this stuff. It's just a, a character like happening. Joker, a character like Joker who honestly should be handled by someone with a lot more experience, but that's neither here nor there. A character like Joker should never be written that way. It should not even it, that you shouldn't even be talking about Joker in that manner. Like anybody who knows Joker, Joker is one of those characters. I think Joker and Batman are those two characters that they're very consistent. You don't you don't fucking change those two characters. They they've always been the same for many, many, many years, decades. Yeah. And to now all of a sudden say you're going to have an insecure Joker who doesn't understand his feelings and he's just now getting to understand him. I'm like, who are you talking about? <laughs> like, it just doesn't, yeah. it doesn't, it doesn't sound like you're talking about Joker, right? Because everybody knows what Joker is. Even, even the normies who aren't really super into the whole comic book scene or whatever, even they know what Joker is a fucking psychotic fuck.